There's no shortage of awful entitled influencers, but today I've got a real special goofball to show with all of you. His name is Icy Wyatt, and he was recently arrested for pistol whipping some guy during an incident of road rage, and now the body camera footage has just been released of the arrest, and he seems to be one of the most insufferable people I've ever seen in the content creator sphere. He's a TikTok star, uh, a word used very loosely here. He has about a million followers there, but I'm pretty sure like half of that's gotta be bots or legitimate lobotomy victims because he gets no engagement and people just make fun of him there. So I don't know how that number even got so high to begin with. I assume it's just people that like shooting spitballs at him and giving him wedgies online because that's all he seems to be used for, just this little punching bag on TikTok for them to make fun of. And he's so proud of that. The guy just got out of his car and pistol with me with a gun. The calls continued to filter in. Yeah, there's a guy driving around in a pink Mercedes. Uh, he almost just hit a lady with uh, pushing, pushing a little shoulder with some kids in the shopping center. This fairy tale unfolds in the beautiful land of dreams that's near and dear to my heart, Florida. Florida's done it again with yet another banger. I'm sure you all just expected by default that this happened in Florida, and you're correct in that assumption. It did. Now, on the day of the road rage, a ton of 911 calls flooded in because there was a pink SUV that was driving recklessly, almost hitting a woman and her children, and eventually culminating with him hitting another man with the gun that he was waving around like it was some kind of fucking toy. Now, there is a video that exists showing him driving recklessly in this parking lot, though it cuts off before any of the pistol whipping stuff, but you can at least see the way that he handles his little clown mobile here. He drives like he's in GTA online, but is also lagging. He is a shit driver, he almost wrecks, and he does almost hit someone in this video. A video. This was after he hit After he hit him? Yes. He was chasing them inside the parking lot. Like a crazy. Good shit, Icy Wyatt. You just graduate from doofus school as valedictorian, you fucking idiot. Absolute piece of shit. Uh, apparently, him and that truck had recently got into a bit of a tiff on the road where Icy Wyatt was accusing him of brake checking him because he recognized Icy Wyatt's car and wanted his attention. This guy is so fucking delusional that he thinks everyone in the world knows who he is because he's like the second coming of Christ. So he thought he got cut off and brake checked by that truck because it was a, a fan trying to get his attention. And eventually it ended up with this situation you just saw and then it led further into Icy Wyatt pulling out a gun, threatening him, and then eventually just hitting him with the gun. Hey, put the car in park! Put the car in park! Let's go, put it in park! Alright, put both your hands out the window. Put your hands out the window! Put both of your hands out the window, kid. We're not fucking with you. I don't know who I am. Nope. It's almost impressive how unlikable Wyatt is. He chose the one sentence that'll immediately make everyone in the world hate you. The cops are confronting him and he's like, you guys don't know who I am? I have a million followers on TikTok. That means I'm above the law. Put the guns down, guys. It's not a big deal. I can pistol whip whoever I want. I I'm a TikTok superstar. You guys, it oh, you must want autographs. Okay, I get it. Sorry. Wyatt is clearly suffering from terminal clout hunger. There is no cure. He's become delusional. He's in the final stages of it. He can no longer separate reality from fiction. He is trapped in this delusion, this fantasy land, where a million followers on TikTok means the whole world knows who you are. He holds himself up like he's Jesus Christ because he has a million followers and the laws don't apply to him anymore. He's, he's achieved a level that normal mortals can't get to because he has a small TikTok audience. A million followers is a ton, but his actual core audience is not a million. Like I said, nobody engages with this guy unless they're throwing tomatoes at him and booing him. It's like that episode of Spongebob where the guy in the crowd goes, Oh, brother, this guy stinks. That's Wyatt's whole life. What's up? You, you come up here to make fun of Icy Wyatt too? Hmm? I know, he's pathetic. I know, I know. Take your seatbelt off and get out of the car. Do it now. Take your seatbelt off and get out of the car. 
Though Wyatt denies he has a gun in his vehicle, several witnesses allege that they saw him with one. Where's his keys? This thing got keys or a fob. Wyatt's lecturing the police like he's the substitute teacher in a rowdy classroom. Show some respect. I'm a TikTok star. Please, have some decency. I'm above you. It's, it is infuriating. Everything Wyatt says is like the worst dialogue options in a video game that make you hate the fucking character you're playing as. He is actually finding all of the worst possible responses that would make even his biggest fans hate him. It's so impressive. It is a speed run for the most unlikable TikTok star ever. So, he wasn't really cooperating with the officers. They do eventually tackle him. They get him with like a fucking Goldberg spear. And it was pretty satisfying to watch, I'm not gonna lie, because this guy's a fucking douchebag and deserved it. So I think that busted up his nose a little bit, which is why you'll see him with a, a bloody nose. And then he apparently denied having a gun, despite so many witnesses saying he did. And he eventually just gave them permission to search the car, and they immediately found the gun. It wasn't even a difficult scavenger hunt. The Easter Bunny would be disappointed. He did not hide the eggs well here. They found the gun the second they got to the car, basically. I have something else to say about the incident. I don't hit nobody. Well, they're saying otherwise, and they described the gun and everything, and there was somebody else so that was watching. my girlfriend can't be a witness to a, Was she a, with you? Yes. No. I pulled that... I pulled the gun out to show them through the window, like, don't with me, and they all went back in their car. Yes, after, he came after, home after being attacked by two hillbilly crazy people in a truck. But he pistol with them over the top of his head. Because they attacked him. Okay. So what are you trying to do, sir? Right. Just, like, defend the hillbillies who got punched in the face with a gun? Well, if they got pistol with a gun, then they're victims. His girlfriend heroically arrives at the scene. It's the fourth quarter. I see why it's down by quite a bit, but now... His girlfriend is here to really help win the game for him. Except she's playing for the other team. She comes here and immediately confirms that icy whiny Wyatt was lying once again. Fucking weasel. She immediately validates the claims of the pistol whipping happening. She confirms that Wyatt did in fact hit them with his gun. Something that Wyatt is denying having happened at all. She swooped in here and offered key evidence against her boyfriend Wyatt here. It was fucking poetic justice. She came in here and just told the truth, which is a real thorn in the side to Wyatt. Pistol whipping is no joke. That shit can be fatal. Like, that is very dangerous. But luckily for the victims of the assault here, Wyatt's got some wet noodles for arms. He's got the scrawniest little arms I've seen since Slenderman, so he wasn't able to generate enough force to, like, really hurt them. But it was enough to still cause a bit of damage to one of the victims, as I understand it. Now, his girlfriend does say that that truck was, like, speeding around them, so that's the attack she's referring to, I believe. He's a victim of being attacked while driving. They were speeding in front of him. You guys not aware of, like, the whole story? We heard that there was some, some kind of a road rage incident that started it, but... That's not really an attack, though. This isn't twisted metal. They didn't speed in front of him and start dropping spike trips and homing missiles out the back, firing fucking torpedoes at Wyatt and his vehicle. It sounds like it was an instance of them maybe cutting him off or speeding around him, and he took it personally and got really offended, and then went way, way, way hog wild with the whole thing. Following them, following them into that parking lot, getting reckless and crazy, hitting them with the gun, all that shit. You can't take my phone. Actually, by law, they are allowed to take his phone. You can't phone. take my phone. This is my possession. So now you're gonna be a thief. Now you're gonna be a thief. You're under arrest. You're not allowed to have a phone. Okay. Wow. Unfortunately, that was going too far for Wyatt. The good boy was about to go bad. He never envisioned a world without his phone in the palm of his hands. So when they took his phone, he was fucking flabbergasted. And now he's got a chip on his shoulder. He gets real unpleasant and even more obnoxious and annoying. You don't see any problem with this. You don't see the problem that somebody with a bright pink car who is famous online gets with on the on the freeways all the time and that's why i carry a gun that is it that is you said legal was in florida it is legal in florida to have a right. gun in your car there's nothing so where about can that. you prove show me the video proof where i hit him with a gun there is video proof of the reckless driving and nearly hitting people in the parking lot and the victim who got pistol whipped 
showed the injuries, and his girlfriend also confirmed the pistol whipping. So I'd say there's a, a high level of confidence behind the pistol whipping being the real story and Wyatt being full of shit, just a load of dirty barnacles. It's almost impossible not to laugh at Wyatt. In fact, after Wyatt got even more rowdy and rambunctious and insulting the officers starting to kick them and shit, they started making fun of him too. They started calling him Joe Exotic. And when they were bringing him into the police station, they said, Welcome Tiger King. And that gave me a hearty giggle. I actually thought that was a pretty good one. Wyatt is just a fucking clown. So his statement here, he drives a bright pink SUV and people fuck with him all the time on the freeway because he's famous. So they recognize his car and mess with him while he's driving, which is why he carries a gun. How delusional do you have to be? He actually has a mental illness. He has main character syndrome. He believes that since he has a high number of followers on TikTok, everyone in the world knows him and everyone in the world is out to get him or, you know, try and get his attention. They're all vying for his attention and they'll do anything to get it. Did you guys actually There's get in an accident? I... I mean, he's got a big ass, like, not on the back of his head. No, but there are independent witnesses. So. I mean, not everybody knows who you are. It doesn't matter. I have 58 million followers with me, bro. Everybody who's been on TikTok or Instagram has seen why you This is where I think his delusion is actually kind of dangerous and scary. So he obviously can't tell the truth under any circumstances, I guess. Fucking Wonder Woman's lasso of truth would be useless against this guy. I don't know if he's ever been honest about anything ever. Like, all he does is lie. He's full-blown Pinocchio here. He doesn't have 58 million followers, you absolute goober. You have a million followers on TikTok, which is your only platform, really. Very odd thing to lie about, but then it gets into what I consider a very scary territory where he's talking about how people make shit up about him all the time because he's so famous. Everyone on TikTok and Instagram has seen his face before. He, the dude must be trapped in like a perpetual genjutsu, straight out of Naruto. He is in a paranoid delusion. Not everyone in the world knows who he is, and not everyone is out to get him. Holy shit. I said you don't know that this guy knows who you are. Oh, he so did. Oh, did he say check something? When somebody was swerving into my lane, brake checking me, wanting me to stop, wanting me to race my car, coming out the car, I know that's a fan. One other thing that he's done multiple times throughout the conversation, and does many more throughout the conversations going forward, is he calls her baby girl. It's, it's like making my skin crawl. It's so fucking cringe. He'll call her baby girl sometimes. It's really creepy. But I mean, clearly he is mentally unwell. Someone swerving into your lane is not a fan trying to get your attention. Holy shit. I actually think there's a good chance he's on drugs right now. He starts rambling about absolutely nothing, like tasing from out of nowhere. And then she's like, well, you didn't get tased and we're not going to tase you. And then he took that like as a threat. So then he makes a threat back saying that if she tased him, he'd fuck her up and go to the go to jail for the rest of his life. A, I don't think you could fuck up anyone you would probably lose in a fight to an inflatable, wacky, arm-flailing tube man. You are not built for fighting. You would get your ass beat. You would get turned inside out. So I don't know why he's threatening physical violence against this woman. And I don't know how stupid you have to be to threaten physical violence against a police officer too. She was very, very patient with this guy. Because she just brushed it off and laughed at him. I guess because he is so pathetic, all you can really do is laugh at someone that's this embarrassing of a person. But goddamn, like he is so fucking dumb, it's unreal. You're dumb, bro. Am I? You're real dumb. You might want to try modeling. Um, that definitely can't be that. You definitely might want to try modeling. I definitely can't do that. This is what I'm talking about when he just goes off on these weird fucking tangents saying that she needs to do Molly so she can shut the fuck up. Like, what are you talking about, man? Like, I don't even think he's in the same dimension that the rest of the planet is in. He is all over the place. I really do think 
that the entire day he spent in like some kind of fucking meth induced haze or some shit. He is actually just all over the place. Why, 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 why are you going? Let away. me see you do it first then. What? We're gonna You're not about to take $30,000, $40,000 worth of jewelry without me knowing exactly and where I'm it's going. I'm gonna write tomorrow. I don't. You missed to me the whole entire I've time in the car. So nice to you. No, uh, Things really popped off when they told him that he can't really take the jewelry into jail with him, so he put up a big fuss. He eventually started kicking the officers and. Now he's facing a lot of charges. I think he goes to trial next month. So I'm really curious to see how that plays out because for some reason he seems to believe that he's in the right. So he started threatening lawsuits against the officers after he was kicking them and shit. So very goofy uh, situation here. Very goofy guy. And I just had to talk about this. What an insufferable little asshole. So yeah, that's, uh, that's Icy Wyatt for you. Someone I'm sure none of you have ever heard of before and will most likely forget about very quickly because he's just a forgettable little worm of a person. That's really about it. See ya.